Yo, what's up YouTube? And we back with another video. Now, let me get my minute of lava real quick. Uh so I've been coming up with some ideas. Like, I think I think I should return back to the gaming videos. I'ma still make these videos, of course I am. But like the gaming videos are starting to attract me. Like new games are starting to come out, like WWE 2K22, stuff like that. I kinda wanna make a high school roleplay video. I don't know man if y'all want me to return back to gaming let me know if y'all want me to start making football videos let me know in the comments just let me know in the comments below but yeah we back we back with another video you see joel and b i hope y'all watched the all-star game last night it was crazy steph curry went crazy and the funny thing is i was just about to make we need to start worrying about the warriors video but when he dropped that that 50 bomb last night i don't got no more worries because steph curry's back he out of that slump i mean he's been out of the slump but nah, it's nice for sure. 16 threes in one game. <laughs> Come on now, Steph. You, gotta, you know what I'm saying? But uh, let's get straight into this. Make sure to follow my Twitter, Lava underscore Holic. And yeah. So, Joel and B. JoJo, The Process. Do a 180. Troel. <sighs> this, is, he's, he's, he, this is crazy. For a big man at seven feet tall, how elusive he is. His movement, how fast Joel and B is. He plays like a Kobe Bryant center, type center. Now, watching that All-Star game last night, I know none of the stats really count like that. Steph Curry dropped 50, 16 threes. Them 16 threes don't really count. Klay Thompson still got his record. So this don't re that don't really count. But if Team LeBron did not win last night, Joel Embiid would have been the MVP of of the uh, of the game. Joel Embiid had 36 points, 4 assists, and 10 rebounds. Now, I know they weren't really playing defense. It's an All-Star game. But Joel Embiid has been doing this all season. Now, Joel Embiid is tw has 29.6 points per game. If Stephen Curry doesn't go, I'm pretty sure he won't. But if he doesn't go 50, 50, 40, 90 Steph again. Now, I'm pretty sure he will for the season. But I don't think Steph is going to go insane 57, I mean 30 points, 30 point streak again like how he did last, last season. He will be the only person to stop Joel Embiid if he does. But Joel Embiid has 29.6 points per game. Joel Embiid is about to win his is about to win an MVP and a scoring title. He was supposed to do this last season, but he got injured, and now he's showing us what he would have done last season if he never got injured. Now, the only person, the only two people actually, no, it's three people that can stop Joel Embiid from getting their MVP is Joel, Stephen Curry, or James Harden. Now, James Harden, obvious reasons. James Harden is a new star. They have to get along. Chemistry. They can start losing games. Joel Embiid cannot be playing his best basketball because he's trying to get James Harden in the mix. Steph Curry can obviously go off at any point in time, get hot during the season. Lucas. But I don't think that's likely of happening. Joel Embiid is on a tear. And he's now added James Harden, an MVP level player. He can also win MVP in any season. He's not going to win it this season. But if he wanted to, he can win next season. Joel Embiid might win a championship this year. And people start need, need to start noticing that. Joel Embiid, the only, the only team that's in the way, the only two teams actually, maybe two teams. The first team is obviously the Bucks, and maybe the Bulls are in the way of stopping i mean are in the way of stopping the 76ers from making it to the finals the Br the brooklyn nets aren't making it to the finals i'm sorry to any brooklyn nets fans out there it's over they're not making it but if joel and b can make it to these finals and win finals mvp he's the best player in this league now i think he's i think i think maybe he's the best player in the league right now but kd still i think kd's still up there Giannis, Jokic, it's people up there but right now right now he's the best player in this league right now if he can win if he can win like everything it's no question oh he's the best player in this league it's no question but right now he may have some competition but right now joel Embiid is the best basketball player in the world best basketball player in the world and i don't think anyone can stop him no one can stop him last night maybe jared island but i think that was uh when that, that block maybe it was a foul i think so i think it was but nobody can stop joel mb you watch any joel mb games nobody can stop joel mb except joel mb nobody and that's scary because when you basically have a Giannis, just a slower Giannis that can shoot the basketball 
you're in trouble and he now has James Harden one of the most dangerous basketball players in the league Joel Embiid is 25.5 points per game in his whole career in his NBA career and it's not like this man cannot shoot the ball he is 36.9 percent from three uh field goal his three percent his field goal this year for three from three is 36.9 percent and for a center that is absolutely fantastic he's almost tied with Stephen Curry I mean he's almost at Stephen Curry's field goal for three this year now I don't know if that's embarrassing for Steph which it kind of is but Steph's gonna rise back up he's gonna get 40 percent this year definitely but or that's fantastic for Joel Embiid and it is it is it definitely is and he's 49 percent 49.5 49.5 let's just round it up 50 percent field goal this year and 81 point percent from free throw Lucas. Joel Embiid is fish is efficient he's definitely efficient and you see how many points he can drop 29.6 per game he was going on a tear he was having 40 50 nights back to back and stuff Joel Embiid is a different type of animal and if people can't find out what they need to do to stop him the 76ers will be crowned the NBA champions of this year. I don't I don't see it likely because the Warriors, they have the the Warriors. But I don't want to hear nothing about the Warriors because James James Wiseman will not be able to stop uh Joel Embiid in the finals. I'm sorry. And the Warriors, they're my team. They're my team. But James Wiseman, a player that made the Warriors worse last year, that the Warriors are hoping for to make them better, which I don't see happening. The only person that can stop Joel Embiid on that Warriors team is Draymond Green. And we hope he comes back this season. Us as NBA fans need to see it as it is. Joel Embiid might be the best basketball player in the world. And we're just not noticing. Because I sure think he is. I think Joel Embiid is the best basketball player in the world. Now, as I was watching last night. I was watching Steph go off three, half court three, no look, looked away before the shot went in. And then Joel Embiid just kept on coming back, helping Team Durant. That wasn't Durant, Team Durant. That was Team Embiid last night. Helping Team Embiid still be there. He was helping them still be there. Now, I know it was an all-star game, but the defense was intensified in that fourth quarter. And when he dropped the 36, he was definitely going to be MVP of last night if they would have won. Now, Joel Embiid is about to be MVP of this season and win a scoring title. Now, we need to notice how much of a good player Joel Embiid is. It's been a lot of love, man.